leader, the number one name when it comes to <clears throat> smoke detectors in America. It's not one, it's not two, but it is three mm -hmm. for $69.99, a five pay flex pay for this show of $14.50, $621091. And the thing is, Bill, part of the problem is smoke detectors are big, they're clunky, they're an eyesore. Mm -hmm. And the batteries. Most of us are going off at three or four o'clock yep. in the morning. We hit them with the broomstick. This has 10 years worth of battery life. And that's just it. We know the batteries when that chirping starts to happen, but also do we know how effective the unit itself is? Because they only have about a lifespan of about 10 years. So first alert, again, huge leader, has done all the research, has given us an alarm that we all can hear because it's not just one loud monotone signal. It has a sweeping tone to it. They've given us a 10 year battery life. So guess what? For 10 years, I'm not getting up and down on the ladder. I'm not having to worry about, you know, worrying about that chirping, which happens always in the middle of the night, and I'm not doing this. And you know what, this is the perfect time of year to pick up this three pack, because guess why? They always say, at when daylight savings happens, yeah, guess what true. you're supposed to do? You should check, yeah. Check and test your smoke detector. But guess what you're testing? You're testing really to see if the batteries are working. And then, if it's not working, you're going out and spending more money. But, again, how long has that smoke detector been there? What, did you move into that house and it was already there? Good and over point. the time, you've just replaced the batteries. So how effective is it in terms of giving you false positives right. to alerting you to something that's out there? So you see how small this unit is. That's first alert, doing the research that we all want in a smaller footprint because they can be big and they True. can be an eyesore. And then they've given us that 10 year battery life. So it's a micro design, but it's powerful in terms of how effective it is. I mentioned that, that alarm, how it has a sweeping tone. 85 decibels, okay. so it's very loud, but more importantly, it's not gonna be flat, it's gonna have a high and a low. A sweep. Uh-huh, listen to this. And why is that important? You know, dad gets hard of hearing. He might sure. not hear the lower tones, but he'll hear that high pitch tone. So this will wake up dad. The lower tones might register with mom or someone else. So it gives everyone a fighting chance. Definitely a smaller footprint what on the difference. wall. And you know why this is a big difference? the US Fire Administration, and you brought the, you mentioned this perfectly. They've told us they, that we recommend the smoke detector on every floor of your home, outside every bedroom, in every bedroom, in the hallways. I mean, that's really, it starts to add up. It does. That's batteries, that's clutter on the wall. And so this being a smaller footprint, more efficacious, the ethical, more effective in terms of not having to spend money is really where it gets nice. But remember, it is first alert. And that three pack is just phenomenal. It, it is, and you have to compare. By the way, we are Facebooking live. Hi to Bernadine and Joan and Patty. My friend Brian, oh, no. you were so cute. I, I say someday we're gonna, he, he noticed that my shoe was untied. And <laughs> we're gonna do a Shannon Smith, uh, you know, unplugged one of these these days. Uh, Cause I mean, literally it was like three, two, one. Oh. The shoe can wait. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> See, safety first. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your shoelaces being tied or protecting you and your family. And I know First Alert is sold elsewhere, but you really should do this. I mean, it's certainly this is one of those items where Bill and I don't have to convince you why you need this. Mm -hmm. You know you need this, especially if you can't answer the question, how old are your smoke detectors? Yeah. Are they in working order? Do, you, do they not look as good as you might like. You're not worrying about batteries for 10 years. These also help protect you from false alarms, and right. Bill will talk to that. But you also have to compare First Alert feature to feature. So even though First mm -hmm. Alert is obviously sold elsewhere, in this profile and with that 10 hour battery life, it's a lot harder to find. Exactly, and a lot of people are definitely wanting that smaller footprint, but it might not offer that 10 year battery. By the way, with that 10 year battery, 10 year warranty, which is great. You also read right here, no low battery chirping just for that peace of mind. I love the fact that if I put this on the wall right now at the holiday season or daylight savings 2019, I don't have to worry about it till 2029. Isn't that wild? So if I put them in my mom's house, I know if it's the middle of the night, she's not getting the broomstick out, she's not knocking it down, she's not waking up to low chirping, because this is truly what happens. We've all been there. It chirps in the middle of the night, we take it off the wall. Like, I'm gonna go get that special battery right, good eventually. Yeah. Eventually. It's always that eventually, eventually, eventually. And I gotta tell you, three out of five fatalities in a home fire are just because of a faulty smoke alarm. And that's really a simple upgrade. So whether it's the, someone's getting a new house, I mean, new house to them, how old is the equipment in no the house? Kidding. And yes, we tested the battery, but how effective is this? Because these in themselves have about a 10 year battery life. Sure. So after 10 years, you're supposed to replace the unit. So you're replacing the unit and you're replacing that battery. And you know, even a lot of municipalities right now, they're not even allowing you to do the nine volt version. Oh, no kidding. They want you to have a 10 year battery life because of that fatality statistic. Cause they go to the fires and they realize, you know what, it could have been prevented if they were hearing 
And the thing is, we do become nose blind or sure nose we do. or ear blind. Yeah. Because we're like, oh, it's just, you know, the popcorn and all the microwave, the steam and the, the bathroom set off the smoke detector. We don't want that. We want to hear it. We, we want to be alerted because the sooner we do hear it, the more likely we're able to get out of the house. And I got these for my mom because actually she got a new home and, you know, had to be inspected and sure. all this stuff. But they didn't require one out in the garage. Oh. And she has her laundry out in the garage. Sure. So, you know, she'll run the dryer at night before she goes to bed. Yeah. Dryer fires. So if we have one in the garage, it will alert her sooner and faster. The sooner we hear it, the sooner we can get the loved ones, the pets, the valuables out of the house. Because, you know, back in the day when First Alert first started, 17 minutes is what we had to get out sure. of the house. We're now up to three minutes. Oh, that's it? Just to get out of the house. Wow. And the thing is, they're like, why? It's because of all the synthetic stuff we have oh, in our sure. homes. Makes they're sense. a little more flammable. They are. Hey, by the way, we are Facebooking live. So again, hi to Patty and my friend Brian and Cindy. You know, the thing is, first alert, if you're going to buy any, for, you know you should have this. And if you don't, mm -hmm. and even if you do, I know you've got smoke detectors in your home, but more than likely, they're bigger than this, they're clunkier than this, and are the batteries really working? So this has that new sweeping tone mm -hmm. because that has been proven to be more effective. You know, people kind of tune out that regular, just nonsensical uniform chirping, if you will. So it's done in a proven way. It's from the first name. If you're gonna buy anybody's smoke detector, it needs to be first alert. And listen, I realize this might not be the sexiest gift underneath the Christmas tree, but it's the one as a mom, as a parent, as a, uh, yeah, for an in-law, for your mm -hmm. daughter-in-law, for your son-in-law, gift for a new home. It's the one that you're gonna feel better knowing that they have in their home. It's not quite as good as a buy one, get two free, but you could make the case just in what you would spend in batteries alone, because remember, not all first alerts are created alike. This is the one with the 10 year warranty, the 10 year battery. <laughs> it is a $14 and change flex pay. They saved it for this show. It's something that you should do for you, whether it's your first line of defense or whether it's for a family member, that, that new mom, that mm -hmm. new home, that new dad, that new construction. Well, it's funny, our friends, the producers' friends that we yes. have here, they just bought a new home. Yep. Great, exciting, but how old are the smoke detectors? Are they yellowed and gray? Sure, it's that daylight savings time where you replace the batteries, but are you, is the unit effective? Right. And this upgrade, it's a smaller footprint. It has that big, nice, bold sound to it when we need it. But also, it's from a huge leader out there in the industry, First Alert. You know, there's a lot of things we like to get. Yeah, we like to get throat pillows and, you know, fun little tchotchkes here and there. But this is required. It's this true. isn't like, you know, oh, that's nice. This is required by cities, by governments. And you know what? It's for our safety. Ideally, we'll never have to hear it. But you know, like tonight, I was in the kitchen cooking and all this, and I was thinking about tonight, and I'm like, where are my smoke detectors? I know. It becomes something that truly we don't want to have to think about until it warns us. And normally it comes down to that twice a year situation. Over 10 years, I have to go out and buy how many of these batteries just to make sure this keeps working. Well, if you get this tonight, you don't have to worry about batteries or anything till 2029. 2029. And that's just huge peace of mind, and it's a smaller footprint. You mentioned how bulky these were, and I share two quick stories. My mother, interior designer, always likes to, let's yeah. move the photos around, let's do this, and she's like, let's just take that off the wall. I wanna put a family photo there. I'm like, no, mom, we're not taking the smoke detector off the wall. She's like, well, it ruins the, 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 the visual. Aesthetic. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I even watched a home show where they painted one of these. Right. And that's a huge no-no. You do not paint these. Right. And that's why, if this is a smaller footprint, people have thought this was a security system, which it is, but they also thought it was just like a little wireless speaker. I know. It's so small. It's so obtrusive. Cindy, you are so kind. Uh, thank you for your kind words on, on, on Facebook Live. And you are right. Family safety is very mm -hmm. important to me, and it's not just because I live alone. So I And I cook a lot. In fact, there, there was a tornado warning in our area of Florida mm -hmm. that went off, and I actually thought, did I accidentally set off the smoke detector? I have smoke detectors in my house, but... Full disclosure, I'm not so confident that they're all in working order because I don't check those batteries. And especially because I do cook a lot, and you want to get this for somebody that you love and care about. Most importantly, you should get it for yourself. But let's talk about false alarms for a mm -hmm. second, too. So when you burn the popcorn in the microwave, right. when, you know, the candle, you snuff out the candle in the kitchen, it's less likely to give you... Less false positives. Less false positives. And that's just it. That's because the unit you have is not ultra sensitive. It's just not as accurate. Right. Or or it's aged out. I mean, if you have this older unit and it's starting to yellow a little bit, or if it is chirping, or if it's being set off by steam and by little bits of smoke here and there, that's because it's probably not as accurate. That's why you invest in something new. Upgrade and realize it's a great upgrade. Because remember, this three pack, you'll see the small design somewhere else, sure. but you might not have the 10 year battery life. That's really what you're getting. And think about it this way. So it's a three pack, right? So my sister actually used two of them. My mom used that third one, but it comes out to about $23 
a unit, oh, but no, then divide no. that over 10 years, it's like $2.30 for peace of mind. No more batteries, no, no more worry. That nice loud sweeping tone, I'm gonna set off one more time. You're gonna hear it's not one tone, it has a high and a low and it hits everyone's hearing level. And the thing is, we want that. Because remember back in the day, or maybe before you moved into the house, the basement wasn't finished. Sure. And now it's finished. Now yeah. it's where the kids hang out. It's where, you know, it's the family living room or the family game room. But is there a smoke detector down there? And you know, you want to be able to hear it upstairs. And that's why the U.S. Fire Administration recommends we have a smoke detector on every floor, which can add up, outside every living space, inside every bedroom. I mean, in these hallways, in the sleeping areas. And that's why you can, with this more affordable, right. smaller footprint, be more covered with protection. And maybe the attic was never finished, sure. but now it is. Or it's even yeah. just storing, you know, the holiday decorations, and you want to make sure if anything happened up there, you were going to hear. Sorry. I know, it's yeah. like, what? <laughs> even though I've you. heard it a couple times, I'm like, wow, that is effective. And that's what you want. I'm sorry, but no, yeah. No, but it's really mm -hmm. true. So we see you there. I, I'm delighted that you're calling because, yes, whether this is a gift for yourself or a gift for somebody that you love and care about, it's the gift of peace of mind protection. In this show, we've actually got a, a really nice sampling, I think, of gifts that you do for yourself and gifts that you do for others. This, I think, is both. In particular, because you get a set of three, so you can buy one, keep, you know, keep one, give right. one. It's entirely up to you. When you give this, you know you're giving the most important name, really the most trusted name when it comes to smoke detectors in America. You're also getting the upgraded version, the one that has the 10-year warranty, the one that has the 10-year battery life. And you're also getting everything you need to install it, too, as you see right here. It is so simple and so lightweight, easy to screw it into the wall or even the ceiling. You can even do it with hook and loop closure or adhesive tape. It's more importantly that you put it up, that that bedroom is protected, that the people inside that room or down the hallway will hear it and can get out. Yes. Because remember that one statistic, took me a while to think about it. Three out of five, so that's m more than half, of all fatalities in a fire were just based on because these had not been replaced faulty batteries and faulty smoke detectors because these had aged out of the system and weren't effective anymore. So upgrade, upgrade for that condo, upgrade for the apartment. We've had callers who bought them for RVs and boats oh, for because sure. literally that first alert that it's in the name is so important. Because fires, I mean, they can happen anywhere. Mm -hmm. In fact, Suzanne Runyon, who was just on with Diane, I know there was a death in her family relative to a house fire. Even our lovely Adam Freeman and Chelsea, his lovely wife Chelsea, were affected by a house fire in the last you know, couple of years. So I think it's kind of like Murphy's Law. We always think it's, it's not going to happen to you or it's not going to happen to somebody that you love and care about. This means at least having that line of front defense. Mm -hmm. And because I cook a lot, this is the easiest analogy I have. <laughs> if I only have three minutes to get out of my house or make myself aware and evacuate the premises, it takes me longer to steam asparagus in my microwave <laughs> than the time you have to get out of your house. It really does. And that's I'm not serious. a lot of time. No. When you think about what's in the house and who you have to get out and make sure they're all there and the other stuff. I mean, it's one thing for the pets and the kids, but then the documents. And remember, what used to be 17 minutes was the average. Right. Now it's three. And it's as simple as just getting that alert faster. The fire might be in the basement or even out in the garage. Now it's a finished playroom. But if you hear, I'm going to do it one more time, that sweeping tone. You can wake up because you're going to hear it. You can get the kids up and out of the house. And that's where it does what it's supposed to do. There's a reason why these are in our homes now. Yes, There's a reason sure. why governments and municipalities are requiring that we have smoke detectors. And realize, when I was just out in California, they didn't want the nine volt replaceable battery no. every six months. They wanted you to have the 10 year battery. So you were covered for 10 years. So get them home, take advantage of the three pack, because remember, it's normally a lot more than- uh, it, it is. We, well, in fact, to, to that point, normally we have sold these and they've become a customer pick at $100. Yeah. And they're worth it. I mean, if you just factor in how much you would spend on batteries, let alone is that smoke detector even working. So this is the latest technology. It is a $30 price adjustment, only as long as supplies last. It is a $14 and change flex pay. Yes, you can apply and buy. I know you saw that little HSN credit card promotion, in which case you would take another $20 off. But I can tell you for a fact, and whether you live alone or you are gifting this, buy one, keep one, wrap one, it's entirely up to you. But I would really hope that you would do it. 
you will sleep better knowing that you have these at the ready. You really will. And that's just it. If you are going to test your batteries or if you have that smoke detector off the wall and you've been meaning to replace the batteries, you know what? Just, just upgrade. Yeah. It's more peace of mind. It's more protection. And it's a simple upgrade across the board. A absolutely. Because I can probably say without question, probably most of my smoke detectors need new batteries. I'd spend a lot. I'd probably spend at least half the purchase price on batteries. For sure. I would. Yeah. For older technology. For, especially over that lifetime. Yeah. I know. Billy, uh, thank you. Are you in tomorrow at all? Or? No. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. A but not with this. A Monday fun day. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We've had fun days wherever we can. <laughs> we do. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> all right. Don't hang up. Uh, actually, if you haven't heard.